Hello, Cancer viewers. Uh, last reading I did, I was getting that you're picking up or you were picking up on someone's fears. You, when, when they got scared, you would get scared and vice versa. So you could never really tell. I think you're both very empathic, so you could never really tell where that fear was coming from. You were kind of feeding each other's fears. Um, and then I also got that a door that was closed suddenly opened up. So let's see what is going on now. Let's see where the story is. And this could be about, you know, probably about love, but it could be about money, finances, uh, I mean, sorry, money, career, um, whatever the cards want to say, basically. So it's been a long day. <laughs> Nine of swords, three of wands, strength. The Emperor. The Seven of Wands. Interesting energy. A lot of heavy energy here. Very, like, like look at this. The Emperor, the Seven of Wands, the Strength card. It's a, it's a lot going on here. Two of Pentacles. Six of Swords. And Ace of Swords. I'm looking at these cards and I feel like, whoops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you had to pull yourself out of this dark energy alone. A lot of you went through the dark night of the soul completely by yourself. Like you didn't have friends or family or anybody. Or like maybe people were just weren't around you a lot. Or maybe you kind of went into a phase like where you, maybe, maybe you did have people that you loved, but you just didn't want to see anybody for a while. I feel like you went through a nine of swords energy, you know, anxiety, hopelessness, um, instability, fears, you know, insomnia, just that kind of energy. And I think I'm seeing, I'm looking at this card, how she just looks like she pulled the plug on something. Like she looks like she's just, look at her, she's holding this, a skull in one hand, you know, letting go of what's no longer serving her. And then she's holding this, this snake right here. And I almost see like the electricity though. It's almost like, like, look at her. It's almost like this could, this water could be potentially dangerous. You know, you see the snake right here too. Or wait, no, that's not a snake. That's a leaf. I thought that was a snake, but there's a spider. There's just like the sense of like kind of danger in the card, in this card. There's a spider. There's this, you know, it looks like, like electricity, like near the water. It's just all this kind of chaotic energy, but look at her energy. It's like, she's not afraid of it. She's not even phased by it. Is she's doing what she has to do. So it seems like there was a period where you had to be really strong and you were by yourself. Like you just wanted to cry and you just wanted to be affectionate and close to people. And you had to go through a lot completely alone. And it made you a very strong person. Like it made you very independent, very strong. But it also kind of, I feel like you almost, I don't want to say you overdo it with strength, but it's time to learn a balance. Because you have the strength down, you have the independence down, but now it's time to learn gentleness and that softer energy. Because I feel like there's not some, I don't want to say bitterness because you had to go through that alone, but almost it's like there's like a, like a deep rooted anger. It's like, cause you really didn't have anybody for a while. You really didn't have anyone you could talk to. You didn't, you didn't have guidance through this dark night of the soul. You didn't have the support and love that you needed. You were very vulnerable and you completely opened your heart at a time when you were alone. So it's like, imagine that. I mean, you opened your heart and just wanted love more than anything at a time when you didn't have those close connections. You didn't, you didn't have that, that kind of relationship that you wanted. You didn't have people to talk to and be open with all the time. And, you know, it taught you to be strong. Like you had to push through it and get through it alone. But I almost feel like there's some damage there that your spirit guides want to point out to you to kind of go back and heal. Because with the emperor, it's like, it, yes, it made you strong, but it also made you kind of set in your ways. This is like my way or the highway kind of prideful, stubborn energy. It's like having this armor on when there's no need for the armor. It's like now you're just kind of, it's like you remember what that was like to have to go through that alone. So there's this defensiveness. And I mean, it's amazing. It's beautiful that you're that strong. But it's like sometimes you can let that go. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like, look at this energy. It's like she's so 
defensive of what's hers, defensive of her heart, so like just so distrusting. And it's not saying to completely drop your guard, but it's just saying like you're safe now. You can start healing from that now. You're not alone anymore. Some of you are almost traumatized by loneliness to the point where now that you're not alone, it's like you still feel alone on some deep level because you're used to being alone. Does that make sense? It's like you're... It's like you're not even alone anymore. Like you have people to talk to now or you have friends or people that love you and support you now, but on some deep level, you still feel alone because you're, you know, you went through all that alone. It's like it almost like traumatized you to the point where it just, to the point where even now that you have love, it's hard to see that you have love. It's hard to accept it. Like you still feel alone on some deep level. Does that make sense? And I just feel like you need to balance. You need to learn to juggle things. You know, this could be juggling duties, but I also see it as just juggling the past and the present and the future, like find, finding that balance between them, not getting stuck in the past, but not getting stuck living in the future either. And I feel like there's some kind of truth coming out, some kind of truth, clarity, justice coming out that's going to help you move forward with the six of swords, move forward towards this new life. I just feel like there's like a need to balance. It's like you you learn strength. You're very strong now, but you need to remember vulnerability and gentleness and recognizing the love that's around you, you know, learning to like let some people in, maybe not everybody, but at least some trust, at least trust some people. So there's some healing to be done. Cause it's like you, you need to, it's like, it's time to drop your armor. Like you're still, some part of you is still expecting to go through a heartbreak or a trauma or to be alone again. And I think your spirit guides are saying like that armor is heavy. Take that armor off for a little bit. Just try to breathe, try to relax. Like you're safe. You're not in that same living situation or that same, you know, that loneliness or, or pain or whatever it was that you went through, like look around you, like you're not in that energy anymore. You're someplace else. You're around new people now. You're safe now. You know, this is some very deep trauma and, you know, possible PTSD is what I feel too. And I'm not a therapist. I, you know, full disclaimer, I cannot diagnose anything. It's just the energy that I get. I don't know for sure if you have it or not. That's between you and a, and a therapist. But um, it's like some of it, It's some, for some it's very deep rooted trauma. For some it's, I'm not even going to say it because I know I'm probably going to get, you know, people want a trigger warning for it. Like, but some, let's just say some dark stuff. For some of you went some, through some really dark, traumatic um, things. Like you... And it's like you're still kind of just upset that you went through it alone. You felt alone through it. You felt like people, maybe you felt like you couldn't express it, like people couldn't understand the trauma. And now it's like your spirit guides are just kind of saying, and they don't expect you to heal overnight, but they just want you to take the armor off. They want you to take a breath and ground yourself and look around you and realize you're not in that same living situation. Like if someone... No, like I hadn't, I don't want to say too much. <laughs> I don't want to say too much. Um, I was going to talk about my neighbor's experience, but I mean, again, it's, it's kind of intense and dark and I don't really know if it's YouTube friendly, but, um, just, just deep rooted traumas is what I get here. And some of you, it's like your spirit guides are saying like, Hey, take off the armor. You're safe now. You're not in that same living situation. You're not being abused physically, mentally, sexually, whatever it might have been. Like your spirit guides are saying you're safe from that person now. That person could be in jail. That person could have just moved on. Whatever the situation is, your spirit guides are saying, hey, like you're safe. You're in a different living situation now or you're around different, better people now or, you know, you're just, you're not in that energy anymore. Don't, don't set up, don't live there anymore. Like kind of just look around you and realize that you're okay. You're safe. Because like I said, some of you are still in that trauma where you're still like, where it's hard to, even though you have love and you're protected now, it's like you still don't feel safe because of what you went through. And for others, it's like loneliness is traumatizing. It really is. Some of you might not have been through like a sexual or, you know, trauma or anything like that. Some of you might have just gone through, 
just a phase of loneliness where it's like you went through a dark night of the soul and you went through so much and you didn't have anybody there to support you through it. And for some of you, it's like that loneliness was just really upsetting. It was very, very traumatizing going through all that alone and it made you kind of hard. And... You know, some of you just felt like you couldn't open your heart again after that. So this, this reading is really all about opening your heart again. It's about healing from that trauma. And no one expects it to go away. Your spirit guides don't just expect it to go away overnight or at all, really. But they just, they want to see you take off that armor now. They want to see you relax and rest and start healing. Um, listen to your body. For some of you, it's like your bodies are tense. Like your bodies are just constantly on edge and it's like, Think of how heavy that feels. It's like try to let your body. I know it's hard. Sometimes you can't physically do it. Sometimes you need help with that. I mean, I, I, I get it. But it's like try to meditate and like let your body relax. Like let yourself just be calm and have peace and have this healing energy. You know, look around and kind of realize like you have people in your life now that love you. You know, you do have that energy in your life. You know, you're not alone anymore like you might have been in the past. You know, your interior guides are always guiding you through it, even through phases where you feel alone. They're still there guiding you. They're still there for you to talk to. But it's like some of you are still so defensive. You're still like, it's like you're in war mode. You're still waiting for the shoot, other shoe to drop. You're still, you know what I mean? It's like you're safe now, but like, and this could be, this could be a heartbreak. This could be a physical trauma. This could be whatever, or just a phase of loneliness, whatever it might be. But it's like to the point where it's like it made you defensive. It's like you're scared to ever allow that energy in. You're scared to you're scared to put this this weapon down and just, you know, be vulnerable and heal and cry and, and go through it. Some of you are just so afraid of of falling back into old patterns or falling back into that pain. It's like you're trying to some of you are almost running on empty trying to stay on top of it, on top of this trauma. And it's like when you put that down and you realize that you're safe and you just take these baby steps and you have, you know, you find this balance, like let yourself be vulnerable. There's a balance between vulnerability and strength. And I feel like this is for this, this energy group, it's like someone that kind of goes to the extremes. It's like they either like are done with people, like they're closed off, they're guarded or they're vulnerable with everybody. It's like a very imbalanced kind of energy. And it's like saying you can juggle between these two things. You can balance these two things. You can, you can be strong and independent, but also let, let some people in and trust some people and, you know, be vulnerable and have love and be empathetic and gentle. Like you can be gentle and strong at the same time, hard and soft at the same time. If that makes sense. It's like, there's a balance between these energies. Your spirit guides want you to find so that you're not just in this guarded de defensive energy for your whole, for the rest of your life or this, this heavy defensive energy that like probably physically weighs on you. your body is probably physically tense. If you really notice how your body, notice your posture, and really work on that too. And it's like once you find that balance though, it's like you can move forward. You can you can have this new life, six of swords. It's like right now you're holding on to things from the past out of fear, but it's like you have, yeah, eight of cups, talking about a new life, talking about taking those experiences and becoming the best version of yourself, charismatic, charming, strong, passionate. It's like helping other people maybe that have been through what you've been through maybe you you have a a destiny to help people on earth too yeah letting go of that of the silence some of you didn't get justice for whatever this is you wanted the person to apologize for what they did to you and they never did but letting go of that and planting the seeds for hope it's like and i'm not i'm not saying all love and light all positive thinking like i'm not one of those readers i i believe that the darkness does have a place there's there's a balance between dark and light trust me um i'm not like a positive vibes only person i'm i'm i don't resonate with people like that and i'm not like that i'm not saying positive vibes only or anything like that i'm i'm simply saying like find that balance you know what I mean? Like you can still be angry. You can still be in pain. You can still have things that you're healing from. That's fine. We're always healing. But I'm just saying, don't let it, don't let it make you net, like never trust people, never trust another person again, or never want to leave your house again, or never want to go to, you know, 
never want to go out with people again or never want to like have a new friend group again or whatever it might be like as hard as that was and it's I'm not saying it's okay that that happened to you I'm just saying that that there is this this with the star card you know there is hope and there is this balance you know like you're able to You're able to find that middle ground and maybe trust people again. I think some of you are scared of losing yourself. You're scared that you're going to trust or fall in love with someone or, or let let your guard down to such an extent that it's like you feel like you're going to lose yourself or you feel like you're like there's like a fear of going back to old traumas. And it's like saying, you know, like you have hope here, like you have a new future, you have a new start. You can be this person, this king or queen of wands you know, passionate, charismatic, could be a leader or a public speaker as well. But it's like you have a new start. You just need to balance between, you know, strength and gentleness. It's like, you know, let what you went through make you strong, but don't let it harden you and make it so that you can never trust anybody again. Like try to trust even just a few people because I feel like you do have love around you, but some of you are just not seeing it because you feel like it couldn't be that easy or you just feel like... You're still in, in survival mode and war mode and it's just saying let the armor down. Some of you might unfortunately not get an apology from this person. Um, but, you know, you it's time to let go anyway, as hard as that is. You can do journaling and burn the, burn the journal too, like whatever works for you. But you have a new start, not just with love, but with... Um, Page of Pentacles with career too. And if you want a private reading, my email address is below. You can just copy and paste it. Any donations are appreciated, and please subscribe if it resonates. Yeah, you're getting past devil energy because you're letting this go finally. And again, you can still be in pain and still be angry, but you're letting that ship sail away like you're not holding on to that anymore. You're letting yourself heal from it. You're letting yourself be gentle and be vulnerable again. And find that balance. And that's what's going to lead to this new life, which is new love. And also something new with Pentacles energy. Could be career, finances, Ten of Cups. Yeah, good energy and intuition. Being able to use your intuition. I almost feel like this trauma blocked your third eye as well. You're going to be moving forward for sure. Past the nostalgia. You're going to be letting things go and moving forward. I almost feel like whatever this trauma was, it also blocked your third eye. Because it's almost like you didn't want to see it or you didn't want to feel that. Like you like you couldn't trust your intuition. You're like, maybe you were mad at yourself. You're like, why was I not more intuitive enough to know that that would happen? Or you just saw something that you or felt something you really didn't want to see or feel. Um, some of you just have that like third eye block as well as throat chakras and other chakras as well probably. But it's like with the moon card, you're going to be connecting with your intuition and trusting your intuition again and opening up your third eye again. And you're going to have love and, you know, abundance when it comes to, to pentacles energy as well, you know, moving forward. So you do have good energies ahead. Just learn, learn to balance. You know what I mean? Like you can't shut everybody out, but you can't let everybody in either. It's like you have to have that balance, like let certain people in, let certain people in when they're proving themselves to you and, um, you know, making time and effort to be in your life and showing you that they love you and that they want to be in your life. Like, you know, letting in the right people, letting in, you just need to find that balance basically. Um, you know, getting to know people and, and developing a genuine relationship from there instead of just trusting people right off the bat and jumping into these friendships or relationships. Like, really take your time with people and slowly open up. But it's just kind of saying, like, let the armor down and at least let a few people in that you feel like you can really trust intuitively. And use your intuition. Open your third eye again and trust your intuition again. Um, if you'd like a private reading, my email is below. Donations are appreciated. And please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks for watching.